Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of uh, my Planet Coaster recreation of Parker Warner. And yeah, this video came super soon uh, with the other, but that's if you've seen my fourth episode, you will know that I've I've recorded these two episodes back to back because I had enough material to make two episodes. But hey, that's good, and I hope we can get a little faster next time. I'm going to like the 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 next parts, uh, the next episodes are not going to be walkthroughs because I think they're pretty boring. And what I'm going to do is, if you've seen uh, Mike's uh, from Pronation Paradise Fire videos, um, and if you don't know who Mike is uh, or N7, you need to search the Pronation Discord or the Twitter or get to his channel. And I'm going to leave uh, the, the, this, um, the links to the Pronation Discord and, and to, the, to the channel of Mike in the in the description because he's amazing and you really need to watch it but i'm sure if you are watching this you already know who mike is because i have less people watching me than mike uh, but yeah uh, i asked mike for permission if i could do something similar with the the, the kind of way he records the videos not uh, doing time lapses because that's really boring in my w it's really boring because uh, i take so much time make, making recreations that it will be absolutely horrendous and super long so the way Mike does it is super amazing and what I want to to do is something similar uh, like I said I asked permission he said there, there was no problem uh, but yeah I just wanted to to give a shout out to Mike because he's amazing I also to, to John uh, that he's doing a, like a peer also in Blind Coaster right now uh, they don't the, those two are the, the bros, uh, they have like a discord, and if you like playing coaster, you are super welcome there. Let's talk about the park then. Uh, so the park, you are seeing right now, it's a map, and this was made in Photoshop, but actually this is Planet Coaster. <laughs> and these, these are really high resolution, and these are, this is not the part that I'm recreating, uh, I'm recreating uh, in the game. This is the area next to it, but because this is just in the inside of the of the of just the entrance of uh, the DC area, I had to put this map and I have to remake it. Uh, behind this map is the map of the DC area, and I'm going to show that after this. But yeah, uh, the thing is, as you can see, this is super high resolution, and because I wanted to make the the entrance not be only like the entrance the, the entrance pillars of the area it's pretty simple i wanted to show some of the stuff uh outside of the area but not recreate it entirely and that's why i created uh the 83 the hotel Embrujado, and that's the the haunted hotel and it's a becoma madhouse i'm not going to do an interior of a becoma madhouse uh, even if it's not a becoma madhouse i was not going to make an interior of this because it's not a recreation of this area of the park, that it's the um, the Movie World Studios uh, in the park, and it's the, the yeah the, just the backstage uh, type of movie studios like in Universal Park and all that. But yeah, there's a stone fall that it's like a a, Be a Becoma, lots of Becoma rides. <laughs> in I, I wouldn't be surprised if the the, the cars are Becoma, <laughs> the small cars. Uh, the splash, the splash battle. I don't think those are Becoma, but uh, there's a stonefall that it's a giant inverted boomerang. It's actually pretty cool, uh, and the Becoma madhouse that it's in a really bad shape because they haven't, they haven't touched it in, in years. Also, the splash battle is the last ride they have added to the park, and that was that was like eight years ago. Yeah, Parker Warner is not good for revisits, and they have like a. A stunt show uh, that I told in the last episode uh, of Police Academy the movies, and that's a pretty good stunt show actually. So yeah, let's let's see the the right now. Well, let's see first the the map from the other area because there's a lot of people ask asking me, oh, what are you recreating? Are you recreating the whole park? Uh, in the comments, and actually no, that will be absolutely crazy, and my my PC will explode. I you know that the crash uh, where you move pieces as more pieces you have the more it crashes so the DC area is going to be enough for this recreation but yeah this is basically the part that I'm going to recreate uh, in Planet Coaster 
and let's see now the, the, the entrance. So this is the entrance. And there's something cool about uh, the, the DC engine and is that you can see the lift hill of Superman and with the, you can hear, uh, the first time you visit the park it's really hype because you can hear uh, the Superman main theme blurring through the speakers and you see the, the lift hill and the cars going through the lift hill and that creates a, a really exciting thing uh, like hype when for getting to the coaster. That's a really good winner actually. And this is the, the Haunted Hotel, uh, the Pekoma Madhouse. And you will see at the end um, some comparison shots with the Google Maps, uh, like I did with the last episode, and you will see how uh, exactly I tried to make it. The trees are missing, but that's because I wanted to show the facade better, because the trees are really big in, in Planet Coaster. Talking about big trees, I have to give huge thanks to Wings and Strings for uh, helping me make uh, this really small tree with a dead, uh, uh, you can see below, it's a dead tree. And then the, the vines, the flower vines, the newer flower vines for, the, for making like the, the, like the, ah, oh, the vegetation of the tree. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Uh, and it's like just a crisscross of, of those and it looks really nice and really similar to the Google Maps the tree. It's, I love it so thanks so much to Wings and Strings. He's absolutely amazing. You need to show to see what he's do, uh, he makes because he's a lot in Bronation uh, Discord. Uh, another thing why you need to visit that, that Discord. But yeah, uh, this is the, the house and the custom roofs were... Oh, I hate making custom roofs because it's a really boring thing to make. Uh, these were made by, with the small wooden brackets and if you are using this method I have to to show you something and is that you have seen that it disappeared but the thing is I know it's white because that's because the sun and it's plastic but the art shapes uh, you need to if you want to do the the small brackets uh, roofs uh, what you need to to do is make with the art shapes uh, uh, a roof like below it so when they disappear because of the low lots they have there's still a black roof or whatever color the roof you make and it looks nice or from from the really uh, far uh, vision uh, but yeah uh, also i have to say this and this is why i want to show how i make stuff in the next videos because there was a really big mistake uh, when i was building this house and it's after I built the roof, after I built the, the second floor, the first floor was completely wrong. Completely, usually wrong. And I had to fix it. Uh, it was super squashed, the windows were super low. Oh my God, it was terrible. It looked terrible and I didn't know until I started building the stairs. And these stairs and making this door and I discovered that the door was incredibly small. And I said, oh my God, I need to fix everything. Thankfully, it was not that much difficult making the doors and the windows longer and basically low, uh, making higher the, the, the first floor because of the way I've been building this building, thanks to the way you regroup things in the new update. Oh, thank God, Frontier, that's one of the best quality of life stuff you've, <laughs> you've made in the last update. Oh my God, that's so amazing because I have things separated by like the doors and the windows are separated, the walls are separated, um, the windows as, as walls are also separated in their own uh, walls, so it was pretty easy to get all those group of objects and just elevate them. Um, the chimney I'm really proud of uh, because of the, of the brick um, decoration I've made here, it's just the same as the real park. Uh, the thing is, I couldn't use the same trick here and it's and that's why it looks a little bit different because the brick i used below are really long are four meters long and because the uh, the, the chimney look uh, uh, turns uh, thinner in the top part i couldn't use the, uh, the those bricks anymore so i had to use the wooden planks and they look a little bit uh, wonky but this is a good enough thing like the the theta tar there's a lot of a little bit of theta fighting a little bit only I'm not going to fix that. It's a lot of work, <laughs> uh, a lot of valuable time that could be wasted building stuff, uh, wasted here, and that's why you can see a little bit of theta fighting, but not much, not much. 
and this is the the entrance of the re, of the right and you can see it's closed and this here in design it's superman designed for superman i need to change it i know i will add here uh, that it's closed because it will be closed in 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 blanco <laughs> uh, but yeah the sign is pretty similar it's a little bit uh, actually i'm pretty uh, um, uh, oh uh, i'm pretty uh, oh my god <laughs> i don't know well um it was good that i found a really similar sign to to the real sign in the real right this this one is a little bit bigger but it looks okay it looks like just like the right one so that's good enough Good enough. That's the motto. That's the the John John's motto in a uh, mask bandit's motto in in Bro Nation. And yeah, that's sometimes good enough is good enough. Also, this took a bunch of time. This was one of the hardest things I had to do with art shapes. Uh, from the far, it looks pretty nice. It's an Art Deco French style. Uh, no, not Art Deco. I'm sorry. Art Nouveau French style uh, little roof for the door. And from afar it looks really nice, from really near it doesn't look that nice. Ugh. But hey, as a guest you don't get near this, this part because that's a fake door for the entrance. And in the real right, uh, this queue area, it's uh, like a beautiful garden. The thing is there are not enough photos in Google to, to recreate it. Also, uh, it was going to be a lot of time wasted. And the important thing is making the back part of the right. So when you see it from the DC area, from the, the flat right of Lex Luthor, you see the house and you say, oh, look like this, something like there's an area that the park is bigger, but in reality it's not in Blanco. Uh, that's the, the, the visual thing I wanted to give from, from this point, like from, from this road and this right. And yeah, that's, that's it for, for the episode today. As I said, I hope the next one doesn't come too far away uh, hopefully in less than two weeks hopefully i hope <laughs> please let me let me have this for me uh, oh please but yeah uh, i'm going to leave you with some comparison shots uh, and so that's it for today uh, i hope you like this episode i hope you have a nice week and goodbye guys